In the past, Wesley Shermantine has given us small snippets of maps, of intersection here, a crossroad there. Take a look at the size of this map that he drew for Leonard Padilla, bounty hunter Leonard Padilla just recently. We are right here at the corner of Escalon, Belota and Flood Roads. That is where most of the digging has happened in recent months. But look at the size of this map and just how many details, how many notes, how many potential clues there are. This is the well they dug right here. In his largest, most detailed map yet, Wesley Shermantine puts the location of alleged bodies all over the greater Linden area into sharp view. The original map consisted of page after page of copier paper taped together, stuffed in an envelope and mailed to Sacramento bounty hunter Leonard Padilla. There are misspelled road names, tips for Padilla, and notes about where he and Lauren Herzog spent years killing people and dumping their bodies. When Wesley remembers this property here, there was no house on it. Despite the years that have passed since Shermantine has personally laid eyes on this land, the map shows specifics about the location of grapevines and orchards. Padilla says it's an asset that will lead to closure for more victims' spot. families. He sent us this map because this way he can actually sit in his cell and tell us where to go on this map, and we're not guessing. So it, it's working out quite well. There are small notes like this one all over this nearly four foot map drawn by Wesley Sherman time, giving clues to investigators who say at this point they are still looking for more bodies, but won't tell us where or when they may be digging.